column. And yeah, we'll be wondering what they can bring today. We'll get back to that just after the starting lineups here. Here's Cavalier. Vino Barclay is back between the sticks for Cavalier. No Jadeen White. Richard King, fresh from his trial in Scotland with St. Johnstone. And Kyle Ming is there as well, the ever present captain Galil Irvin. Ronaldo Barrett comes into the starting lineup. Giovanni Leng, who was a consistent member of that back three all throughout. Christopher Ainsworth, Dwayne Atkinson, they call him busy. Adrian Reed, the St. George's schoolboy, is back in the starting lineup as well. And Orlando Russell will partner Jarmalva Calvin up front. Calvin, their leading goal scorer and the player to watch, Ligier. Yeah, and this Cavalier unit has been so solid, especially defensively, as you mentioned, the meanest defense in the league so far. And they've really been riding that wave to their success this season. Uh, such consistency in the back line over the years, and it has continued this season. Yeah, the regular back three now, Ming, Irvin, Ming, Leng, and King. Uh, the three central defenders. Yeah, Lime Hall, they will shape up like this. Jaheim Williams is between the sticks. Damani Sewell, their captain is there as well. Teenager, Theon J. Bennett from William Nick comes into the starting lineup. Fresh entrant for them. So too, Kevin Clark out of that William Nib Academy. Jim Roy Jones, Devonte Redmond, Marlon Pinnacle, the player to watch, who has their last goal as well. Ronaldo Hansen, who looked very exciting in the wide area. So too, they kick Corey Mendes there, number seven. Uh, probably had arguably one of the best games last time out. Damani Miller and Deshaun Bentley. This is how they'll shape up Ligier. Yeah, 4-3-3, as we expect. It's going to be a clash of the 4-3-3s. Let's see who can get the better of them. We know that one team has been extremely mean defensively and the other has been the leakiest defense in the league. Let's see how Lime Hall... After 90 minutes here at the Anthony Spalding Sports Complex, it's Cavalier 4, Lime Hall nil. Early match. Match week 18, Andrew Hayden, the man in charge, and Cavalier in their full wide driving forward. Real chance off the upright there from Russell. He, uh, he didn't really have his finishing boots on today, did Russell. A couple chances that he probably should have scored. That one was off the upright, and then a shot blocked from Ainsworth. Russell would have another chance, or was it Calvin actually with the header? And it was put wide. Then this moment. Christopher Ainsworth, so much space on the wide ear, went with the outside of the boot, and Calvin with just a tap in there, right place at the right time for Cavaliers' top goal scorer. His eighth of the season after just 22 minutes, and that was pretty simple. And yeah, not the best defending from a Lime Hall perspective, and this is what they've been guilty of all season, just watching, being bystanders, bystanders instead of getting in the right place to defend it and chasing towards their keeper instead of facing the other way. Cavalier would get into the box again and Russell looking to lob that over Williams but just couldn't get it right. Williams with an important hand and then Sewell over the top. They kept it respectable in the first half but then things started to happen for Cavalier more and more. This should have been finished. This was the first chance of the second half. Giovanni Leng should have picked up an assist and Russell should have had his third of the season. Amazingly heading that into the ground and over. Then this moment, Jaheim Williams at his best. Ainsworth with a strike to the near post and Williams, two hands to it, pushing it over. That was a good save. Reflex is excellent and Ainsworth denied his third of the season. But Cavalier just kept coming. Pass outside to Irving. Irving dropping the shoulder, cutting in on the edge of the 18-yard box. And look at that for a strike. Richard King picking up the, picking up the assist. And a good first touch from, from Irving, who did well. The first step, excellent, and then drilling that into the far corner. Bouncing awkwardly in front of Williams, who couldn't get close to it. I thought it was inside of the boot, but it was actually the outside of the boot from Irving. His second of the season, and it was 2 to Cavalier at that point. Just six minutes later, they would have their third. Chanel Thomas running through all the way into the roof of the net. Thomas coming on as a substitute. Basically, his first touch. Just look at the defense of Lime Hall, though. Just watching him run through, making no real attempt. And Thomas with six goals this season. A good return for Cavaliers number 17. They weren't finished. Two minutes later, Dwayne Atkinson would get through. Where was the Lime Hall defense? They were totally out of sorts. Open up his body well. Oh, no. 
goes to the near post tricking goalkeeper William Smart from Cavaliers number 10 who I think was desperate for a goal has only scored once this season and now an informed Dwayne Atkinson will always be danger for the opposition his second 4-0 for Cavalier job done There it is, total domination in the fixtures for Cavalier, 16 shots, 7 on target for them, nothing on target for Lime Hall and they only had 2 attempts, 1 yellow card each to Irving and Sewell respectively, Cavalier with majority of the corners, majority of the possession at 62% and all of the goals, a big performance by the Premier League leaders, 4-0, they defeat Lime Hall. Yeah, I'm here with today's man of the match, Gadel Irving. You got a goal. I know you set some goals for yourself coming into the season in terms of goals and assists. How are you looking so far? Uh, I'm not looking bad thus far. Yeah, you know, you, you, you wore the captain's armband today. You're the leader of the team in this particular game. What does wearing the captain's armband mean to you? It means a lot to me. I, I you know this Cavalier team. You went to the final last year. You were a part of that team. You were unfortunately beaten by Mount Pleasant. Do you think that this is the season that they can get things right again and bring home yet another title for Cavalier? Definitely. All right. Thank you very much. Um, best of luck for the rest of the season. Yeah, thank you. Now we'll be moving on to Limehall's assistant coach.